good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Kaveh Arminian, and uh, Jerry Absent sitting next to me. Uh, good morning from Seattle. Uh, we, will go, we will be going over reinforced concrete the special inspection protocols. Uh, we have done this uh, as a three-day seminar uh, for ICC uh, for the last couple of years, uh, including uh, a day of uh, plan reading. And, and uh, we are doing a two hour uh, of the same uh, three day seminar for you. So it's going to be a lot of slides uh, and hopefully it would be good information for you to, uh, to take away from. Uh, my expertise again is uh, uh, structural and codes and Jerry's uh, it's uh, hands on uh, many years of uh, site inspection, uh, especially concrete. Um, uh, we have um, uh, two sessions for um, a break, which uh, you're welcome to ask questions. Uh, and also, if you could not answer all the questions, uh, you can email me. Uh, my email is uh, Aminian, uh, my last name, A-M-I-N-I-A-N, at Comcast.net, and I'll be happy to uh, entertain any questions. Uh, there are a few minor revisions on the slides in front of you, uh, which are minor, but I will send it to Goshen Associates for uh, distribution later. Uh, with that, uh, let's start. We have many slides to cover, and I'll go through them uh, one at a time. Uh, today we'll cover special inspection general requirements, uh, duties and responsibilities for a special inspector, quality, concrete quality assurance, uh, reinforcement and for, uh, form work, uh, concrete place, placing, and uh, we'll go through uh, these um, uh, one by one uh, and reference the code material. Uh, uh, I will be speaking uh, on the three of these topics and Jerry on the two others, uh, depending on our expertise. The reference material that we, are be, we will be using in IBC 2015 um, and uh, Special Inspection Manual by ICC, uh, and Concrete Manual, again, by ICC. Concrete Manual uh, is based on 318-14 uh, 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 and 2015 code, which is, uh, I would say, a very good document to have it in your library. And we will be referencing a lot from these three documents. And uh, also, uh, of course, 318-14. Uh, I'll, I'll go through that as well. Uh, starting by, with, uh, with the building code, uh, uh, I, would, uh, uh, I would like to start with chapter one of building code, which uh, discusses the uh, jurisdictional requirements for inspection. And most of us are familiar with those. Uh, they are just the general uh, building uh, inspections. They are uh, foundation, for instance, uh, framing, jeep wall board. Uh, fire and smoke resistance, energy, and others. Some of these inspections are, uh, could be uh, jurisdictional sensitive, um, such as in Seattle, we would require a, a pre-application site visit. That means before you do anything, you need to, uh, inspector would come into the site and evaluate the site issues. Um, and uh, there, are other, uh, there are others that depending on the jurisdictions. Uh, but uh, chapter one of IBC really doesn't have much about the special inspection except uh, just the mention of that um, uh, in uh, 110.3.9, but it really sends you to chapter 17 uh, of uh, IBC, which is the most of the requirements for special inspection. Uh, Chapter two uh, has a definition. As uh, some of you may know, all the definitions uh, of uh, code uh, is on chapter two. And I will be going through some of that. Uh, special inspection has been uh, uh, defined. Uh, inspection of construction requiring expertise of an approved special inspector uh, in order to ensure compliance with the code and approved uh, construction document. And this uh, um, term, the code and approved construction document, is very important, uh, and we will go, we will um, bring that up in later slides uh, as well. And of course, uh, you could have continuous or periodic, which we will expand uh, on that. Uh, and then, uh, special inspector also has been defined. Uh, uh, you know, a person or a qualified person employed by approved agency. Again, approved agency is defined later. Um, uh, by the building uh, department. 
um, which is expert in particular type of uh, work that they're inspecting. And approved agencies uh, are uh, an established and recognized agency that is regularly engaged in conducting tests, and there is certain qualification and approval uh, for that, but the building department and the building official needs to approve that. Um, and then, as I said, uh, we'll expand on uh, continuous versus periodic. Again, uh, those are the ter defined terms in Chapter 2 and other document, also uh, 318, 14 uh, ACI uh, expands on that. Um, and the periodic uh, would be when the uh, inspector is uh, inspecting the work uh, intermittently um, during the, when the work is being done. Continuous is where uh, has to be there during the work. It